My name is Angel Sanchez, and I used to have a life just like yours, back before the world as we knew it came to an end. It was the day before my 23rd birthday when the aliens arrived. They called themselves Kateni, and they were savage enemies. They showed us no mercy, and they played for keeps. heard on the radio that the United Nations had signed a truce with the Kateni. It was just a nice way of saying total surrender. Then things really went to hell. They started herding us into refugee camps. I don't know what happened to my family, but that's what happened to me. Millions of other people just vanished. No one knows where they went, but a lot of us look up at the sky and wonder. Now, most of the human race is under alien control, or collaborating with the Kateni in hopes of receiving a little better treatment. The alternative, the unknown, is just too terrible for most people to contemplate. The only exceptions are scavengers who fled the Kateni. And the resistance, a collection of freedom fighters and rebels carrying on the struggle in hopes of one day freeing Earth from alien rule. The odds are against them, but it doesn't matter. They're all we've got. This is their story. This is my story. This is the story of the human race's last desperate fight for freedom. When I woke up this morning, I found a note someone had left for me. It was on plain white paper, and it read, Hello, Angel. You don't know me, but I know you. My friends and I have been watching you for some time, and we're rather impressed with the way you handle yourself. We could use someone like you, if you're interested in maybe helping show the Kateni whose planet this really is. Mind you, it's not going to be easy. But if you think you're up to it, there's a place in the Resistance waiting for you. Unfortunately, we can't just break into the refugee camp and induct you there. You've got to come to us. Your first goal is to get out of the camp itself without alerting the peacekeepers. If you can do that, further instructions will be waiting for you outside. Good luck, Angel. You're going to need it. At the bottom of the note was a symbol for the Resistance. It could be a trap. But I can't just sit around here and rot. Not anymore. I should make a point of checking my journal after talking to people. Looking at the map frequently is also a good idea, as it'll let me know where I am and where I should be going. Wait until the lights go down before trying to break out. There'll be fewer peacekeepers around, and it'll be easier to find a way out. Maybe I can find someone else in the camp who knows a way out. It might be worth taking a chance on. At the very least, We'll see what the Catania are really up to. This place is a zoo with humans on the inside. Animals running the show? That's as good a way as any to describe Kateni and peacekeepers. This place is running short on food, on medical supplies. It's a disgrace. There were a way out. We're caged in here. There's no way out except feet first. Maybe someone should do something about that. Yeah, that would be nice. The resistance is trying, I hear, but it's not like they're doing too well. I mean, if they were, we wouldn't still be herded in here. But we shouldn't let ourselves get penned in here. 
Keep talking like that and at that volume and you'll find out what the unpleasant way out of here is. Keep it down or the peacekeepers will make an example of you. Heard anything about what it's like outside? All I know is that I don't know what's out there, whether it's more aliens, the resistance, or whatever. I do know that in here stinks, though. Good night. Angel, so good to see you again. I'm looking for a way out. That could be difficult, Angel. The Kateni have sealed this place up tight. Then again, they don't know everything, do they? But you do. I've seen you trading in fresh fruit, Miriam. You must know how to get outside, or know someone who does. You're an observant one. Yes, I do know people on the outside. I trade with them on occasion. Not often. I also have a brother living with the scavengers under the city. His name is Lawrence, and I haven't seen him in six months. I see. And is there anyone else in here who knows about the outside? Oh, you definitely want to talk to Seamus. He used to be the janitor here, and he still keeps the place running, more or less. He knows everything there is to know about this place. Mind you, you didn't hear that from me, dearie. I thought you could tell me how to get out of here. I can't tell you how to escape, Angel. The world comes to me. I don't go to it. But talk to Seamus if you want to leave and take this for him. He's not a greedy man, but he'll want something for his help. You'll be able to find him in the collaborator's wing this time of night. He claims they need more cleaning, if you can believe that. But you're going to stay here? I'm not going anywhere, Angel. This is my place. But... If you decide it's your place to go, I want you to take this. Find my brother if you can and give him this. Something tells me you'll be seeing him soon. I should check my inventory now. You want? Why are you out here? Can't sleep a wink with all of those babies crying, people shouting, and so forth. You know what I miss most about this damn stupid invasion? I miss my own apartment, where I could get some peace and quiet. That and a nice hot shower. It's my family more. Everyone's got a sob story, sister. You keep yours to yourself, and I'll keep mine. What are you doing? What's it to you? Seeing is my job is keeping punks like you in line. It's plenty to me, all right? You think this uniform is for show? You really like your work, don't you? It beats sitting in a cardboard box with the rest of the losers, wondering what's going to happen next. Look, I know what my job is, what's going to happen to me, and what I have to do, all right? I'm getting fed every day and doing just fine. Damn straight I like my job. I can see how you're so smart, seeing as I'm living here in the refugee camp and you're not. Oh, wait. You're living here, too. Yeah, keep laughing. The war's over, in case you hadn't noticed. We lost. There's nothing left. The resistance is a rumor or a joke, nothing more. There's nothing in here but people like you and people like me. And there's nothing out there but empty streets and broken windows. So be a good little refugee and wander back to your fridge cotton or whatever and get out of my face.
That's a nice way of saying that you're a coward. Maybe, but I'm a live coward with a stun rod. And if you try to play hero, you're gonna be a dead idiot. Now get out of here. Maybe I can talk to him and learn a few things. Good evening, miss. It's a pleasant night, isn't it? Are you Seamus? The way it always is, isn't it? There's no manners anymore, no courtesy. Yes, I'm Seamus. Seamus Reardon, and you're, you're Miss Angel Sanchez, and you live out of the old bookstore with the Tolliver family, the Hernandez brothers, and nine or ten other folks. Am I right? That's amazing. How did you know? You're Miss Sanchez. I have to know an awful lot in my line of work. What is that line of work, you ask? Why, it's keeping this place going. If you were to rely on that lot over there in the movie theater, or their big furry friends, the roof would have fallen down eight months ago. You can count on that. The Catani, at least, are smart enough to let me go about my business. It saves them trouble in the end. But you don't work for the peacekeepers, right? Let's just say there are things that I do the lads in the funny hats would disapprove of if they knew, so I take care not to tell them. I'm no friend of the Kateni, though. You walk around this place like I have, Angel, and you'll get the sense that it can't go on like this for too much longer. There are too many people in too little space, and not enough food or medicine to go around. I see. You've given me a lot to think about. I'll be back in a bit. I'll be here. There's always work to do. Have no fear. I see you're back again. What do you have to say for yourself? This is just too quiet, don't you think? Glass, you're not going to want to see this place when certain folks get riled up. I'm sure it won't be pretty. The way to deal with things here, if you want them done, is fast and quiet. Why is that? For one thing, because there are a great many peacekeepers tucked away inside the old movie theater, it's their headquarters now, those gentlemen, and I use the term quite loosely, like nothing better than demonstrating to troublemakers the error of their ways. For another, they're armed and we're not. For a third, there are a great many people here who'd get hurt in the fracas. For a fourth, well, you get the idea. But can you help me escape? I might be able to help you. I won't ask for much in exchange, either. I get the sense that you're going to be more important in all this than I am before it's over. But I can't go giving away my help for free, either. Else everyone and their brother will be asking me. And sooner or later, someone will make a slip. No, it has to be this way. Miriam gave me something for you. Will this do? A bottle of ammonia, is it? <laughs> Miriam's got a sense of humor. She's a smart woman, she is, and make no mistake about that. Let me give you something in return. A key. It fits a door down in the east wing, down toward the entrance they've boarded up. Use it, and you'll find yourself in the service corridor behind the shops. You'll be able to find your way out from there. Godspeed, Angel, and don't forget us in here when you're out in the world. Now all I have to do is go through that door, and I'm out of here. <laughs> 